Good morning. I'm hopping on just a minute early here. Let's just make sure we'll take a second to let everybody get logged in to our page. You may hear some pitter-patter of little feet today. I have my 20-month-old grandson here overnight, so he's upstairs and Grandpa's trying to take care of him. Okay, I think it's about time to begin. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. Welcome to our August 2021 virtual party. We're going to be sharing how ideas from the new holiday catalog and the celebration catalog. And there might be a few things also from the um, annual catalog to throw in. I'm Lisa Lang and I'm going to show you today how to make a pinwheel column card. We're going to be using the gingerbread and peppermint suite, which is on page nine of the holiday catalog. So it's a really pretty suite with lots and lots of things that you can use. I will be using the frosted gingerbread uh, stamp set and also the dies, uh, the gingerbread dies. So mostly I will be using from here the um, outside die for the ornament. And I'll be using these little swirls here and the little circles that make the peppermints to go on our card. We'll be using the designer series paper. And I don't have all the sheets here because I've been using them. But here's some of them. So some of them do look like gingerbread and some of them are just Christmassy. And others could be used for things other than the holidays. And we have some nice diagonal stripes here and a nice pattern. These look like they could be some cookies. And this looks like gingerbread to me. Some cute little peppermint swirls. Some more cookie images, other patterns on the back. So lots and lots of things that you can do with this. And there are a couple more sheets in the package also, and they do come in six by six. I'll also be using um, these cute little trinkets. They're right here. And there's peppermints and there's things that can be used for, there's just little swirls, things that can be used for Valentine's Day. And just a little note, if you want to, you can use the um, our blends to color them. So that's just a thought. And you get lots of these in the pack. Let's see, you get 120 of them in there. Okay, let's get started. Oh, one more thing. From Celebration, I'm going to be using on the very first page. Here we have the Be Dazzling 6x6 specialty paper that you can earn for free with a $50 order. There are other items in here for $50. There are some for a $100 order. Um, let me just quickly show you. This is the Be Dazzling paper. It comes in a pack 6x6. Six six. And I don't know if you can see how gorgeous it sparkles. It's just beautiful. We've never had anything like this. So I'll be using a couple pieces of that too. Okay, now we'll get started. What I have here is a pattern for the basics of the card. You can add all kinds of little elements on your own after, but I just wanted to mostly show you how to make the card base itself. So we have design or we have a cardstock here. You're going to need four pieces of cardstock and they're four by two and three quarters. Uh, the rest of the pieces are designer series paper. You'll need two pieces of three by three, and you're going to cut off the corners, and you're going to score at a quarter inch on three sides. So those are going to form some pockets. And then to add some layers, you're going to need four pieces of designer series paper, one and a half by four. So I have four of them right there. Now you could mix and match them if you wanted to. And then to form the column of our card, I have a piece of designer series paper that's four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and it's scored at one, two, three, and four, which leaves you a little piece right here at the edge where you're going to put your glue. And then we also have two pieces of designer series paper that are four by two and a half. So I'll show you this pattern again later. Let's get started with the, um, the column itself. Now I've seen several people make this kind of a card and um, Linda Heller was the one that had the good idea of using 
designer series paper for the column of the card because when it's folded it's it's actually four two or four layers and you will use it will take up a lot more um, it will be a lot thicker and harder to fit in an envelope so on that last little quarter fold there I'm just going to put some liquid glue and we're going to fold it over and we'll give that a second to dry And that's going to form the column of your card. All right, so to make it into the pinwheel, we're going to grab our four pieces of cardstock and we're going to put some glue on one quarter of this and add it right up to where the crease is, where the fold is. So it's going to add, get added right like that. And I'd like to make sure that it's right up to the edge right to the edge there. Okay, so the next piece, you're just gonna keep wanting to go around. So I'm gonna add the next piece right here, put some glue on the next little rectangle. And you wanna make sure that it, you're gonna overlay it onto the last piece of cardstock that you just used. You don't wanna go in that direction. You wanna go over the last piece that you used. So again, right up to the edge, that's two, fold it over, a second to dry there, and another quadrant there that you're going to put another piece of cardstock on, and again, remember, we're not going to the left, we're going to the right, so we're covering the last piece that we just added, and we have one more. So the last one we're going to put here, and we'll have our pinwheel ready to decorate. Okay, so once that's dry, I'm going to pick it up and show you that now you have your pinwheel or windmill. And that's the part that we're going to start decorating. So first we'll take our two pieces of four by two and a half. I'm going to put some liquid glue on the back. Look at this side would be pretty too. And we're going to start decorating. And I'm going to put this on the first one here. Center it on that little rectangle. And then I'm going to skip the next one and go to the next one. Now this is just my choice. You don't have to decorate it any, any certain way that I do. You can grab your own ideas. Okay, so that's two. Now on the other two, I'm going to take the pocket. The pocket's already been scored at a quarter inch on three sides. And then I did take a circle die and punch out a little finger tab. So on the, on the pockets, we will put some glue along the three sides of the quarter inch folds. Just a little bit. You don't want it to ooze too much, so you just need a little bit there. And that's going to go on here. The little pocket will be centered. Just like that. And then this is the one that we did before, so our other little pocket is going to go right here. And then we have our four little pieces here of designer series paper, and those are just going to decorate these extra little side rectangles, just so you don't have a lot of empty space there. So that's going to go there. And then you'll continue all the way around so that you have one on each side. Oops, I got some glue on here. Oh, the pocket came off. That's what happened. Okay, so the pocket goes on and then let me show you how I finished decorating from the dies from these dies here I used the circles and the little swirls and I glued together to make little peppermints so they look like that so these other pieces I got glue on my fingers here the other pieces are all going to form your little peppermint patties I also made a tag wishing you a Merry Christmas and here you can see that beautiful 
new designer paper with a little red ribbon and then I have a tag for the inside. So here's what I did to decorate it. Here's the front of my card. Here's the little um, peppermints there. So I have the ribbon on here, some rhinestones. When you flip it to the next page, I have a little tag here that you can pull out with a greeting. It says, you pepper, sending you peppermint kisses. So that'll go back on the pocket. Some more patties on the side. And then here we have a place where you can put your greeting. And then the last part here, I have this last pocket is going to be for your a gift card or another tag, whichever you prefer. And you can see here I use the Merry Christmas. Some little letters out of, um, let's see, this came from these dies here and they are called uh, word wishes dies and those are in the annual catalog and I don't know if you can see right here I have used a piece of real red cardstock and I put some packing tape over it I don't know if you can see that and then when you run it through your die cut machine um, with your die, it comes out looking like it's shiny. So that's just a little something we learned when we were at um, retreat a couple of weeks ago. So there you have it. It will fit in your regular envelope. It ends up like that. And I do have another one I'll show you from, this is the one we did in our classes this month. This is a happy birthday one. So it's the same idea. It has a little tag here. And it has a place to put your greeting and another spot for your gift card and it does fit in our regular size envelope okay and now for my drawing a little drum roll and the winner is Jenny Cruitt so congratulations Jenny uh, watch your mailbox for some happy mail coming your way if you have any questions I'm going to put these back out here for you to see. Here's the pattern. And if you do have any questions about the project itself, uh, you can just ask in the comments below this post. If you'd like to place an order or have any other questions, please contact your demonstrator who invited you to join us today. Next up is Sue Heck at 1015. Thanks so much for watching.